Namo Buddhaya. Welcome everyone to another video. So today, let's talk about loneliness and how we can face this situation. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about two things. And the first one is the loneliness and the second one is the solitude, which is more reframed version of being alone. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about loneliness. When we are around people, when we are living with people, and when we are in relationships with people, normally we feel happy. We feel that we are content, right? And we feel this joyfulness within ourselves. But when they are not around us, or when they leave us, sometimes when they when we have to depart from them. Normally we feel depressed, sad, or lonely, or uh, we feel like no one cares about us. So this is the feeling of loneliness. If we analyze this emotion of loneliness, we can find that uh, we have become happy because of the people around us, because of their reaction, because of their way of behavior, that, is, that was the reason that we became happy. Simply it means that we have given the key of our own happiness to other people. So when they leave our life, sometimes when they depart from ourselves, sometimes when they fade away from our life, what happens to us is we become, happy. We become unhappy, we become sad, we become depressed and we feel like no one is care for, caring for us. There is no one to help for me. That is what we are thinking. So how we can deal with this? Well, that is where we come to the topic of solitude. Supreme Buddha advised us, Supreme Buddha advised the monks to practice this uh, practice of being solitude. So what do you mean by solitude? So first of all, let's compare the loneliness to the solitude. Then you can take some idea about that. In loneliness, when you're lonely, you're thinking for someone to come to your life and make you happy. That means you're depending on others. You are, your happiness depends on others. But in solitude, you've, you try to find the happiness within yourself. When you find the happiness inside yourself, you don't want to depend on another person. You don't want to depend on second person. You can find your happiness within yourself. And that is what the practice of solitude gives us. So when you are being solitude, or simply when you are being alone, now there are the people talk about this like, the loneliness and being alone is two different things, right? So when you're being alone or when you're being in solitude, you're happy. You're not finding the happiness from these outer sources. You find the happiness within yourself. So Buddha teaches us to look at this loneliness not as something to be sad, not as something negative. Buddha teaches us to look at this loneliness, something that is beneficial for you, something that is positive. So how we can use this loneliness or how we can reframe this loneliness to be positive? Well, if you think about whenever you are being alone, you have more time for yourself, right? You have a bigger freedom for yourself. You can think about yourself, you can, more, you can reflect more about yourself and you can practice meditations or you can think about your health and do some practices about that. You can do some self-development techniques so you can improve yourself. So when you use that time, when you use that uh, loneliness for good things, then you become more positive about that then you will never feel these sad or depressing states. So let me tell you a little story how Buddha felt lonely at one time. Actually, this incident happened 
to the Buddha before he became enlightened. We call him, him the Bodhisattva. When he was Bodhisattva, he was practicing this self-mortification for six years. He gave lots of hardships to this body. He did some extreme meditations in the jungle. So there were five monks who were helping the Bodhisattva. So he practiced this uh, self-mortification meditation for six years and he mastered that. Finally, he came to the conclusion of that I cannot achieve this enlightenment by self-mortificating or by giving this extreme hardship to this body. So he decided to find this middle way. So what he did was, first of all, he took his bowl and he went to the village and he, he got some foods to eat because he, he thought that to do the meditations, I, I need to have this physical energy. But those five monks who were helping to, the, uh, to Bodhisattva, who were expecting the enlightenment from the Bodhisattva through this self-modification, were so confused because he, they saw that the Bodhisattva is having these foods. Then those five monks thought, like, now he's not going to achieve this enlightenment. The enlightenment can only be achieved by the self-modification. So he, they never believed on the Bodhisattva. So what they did was, they left the Bodhisattva. Now our Maha Bodhisattva was all alone in the middle of the jungle. There was no one to help him. There was no one to care about him. No one knew about him. He was all alone. But he didn't think about that loneliness as something depressed or something negative. So he, he, he thought, ah, now I have more time for myself. I can do my meditations freely. There was no one to think about me. So I must use this time for my self-development. That is what Mahabodhisattva thought. So that is the way that we also should think about this loneliness. If you are feeling lonely, if you are having some kind of a loneliness situations in your life, use that time, use that valuable time to create a better life for yourself because you have more time. You can do meditations. You can stick into a daily routine of uh, the self-development. You can do meditations. You can do workouts. You can walk for some time and you can be with this nature, read a book, or learn something new, practice meditations, do exercises. These things can be done when you are all alone. So, rather than feeling depressed about the situations that, that, situations that you are in, why can't we become more happy about the time that we are spending alone, right? So, practice this, okay? So if people come to your life, let them come. If, if people walk away from your life, let them walk away. But you have to be by yourself. You have to think about yourself. That is what you have to uh, think and that is what you have to do in this valuable time. So I think you have some, you got some idea about the loneliness and being in the solitude. So practice the solitude and make your life more better. Namo Buddhaya.